Welcome to machinelearninginterview.com. What is elastic net regularization? Elastic net regularization is a combination of ridge and lasso regularization often used with regression. Regularization is the process of trying to avoid overfitting to be able to generalize better to the test data. So let us quickly recall ridge and lasso regression. So in ridge regression or the L2 regularization, we add the sum of the squares of the parameters as a penalty term to the main loss function. And we give a weightage of some lambda to this additional term, which is the sum of the squares of parameters. So in the case of uh, the standard linear regression, we have the main loss function, which is yi minus w transpose xi whole square, the sum of the squares of the residuals. And we add the penalty term, which is the sum of the squares of all the weights, sigma over j, wj square. And in lasso regression, we add the sum of the absolute values of the parameters to the main loss function. So if we take the example of linear regression, we end up adding sigma over all j, absolute value of wj. So the difference between the ridge and the lasso regression is that the ridge regression uh, helps us shrink the parameters uh, w because we have the penalty term here which makes us find that solution with the lowest values of w possible simplifying our solution simplifying the function we are learning in the case of lasso we end up finding a sparse solution usually which means that we would end up having some of the wj's going to zero when we try to find the optimal set of w's for this objective function the lasso objective function now the elastic net is a combination of both the ridge and the lasso regularization so we have the main loss function plus lambda 1 into sum of squares of parameters plus lambda 2 into sum of absolute values of parameters and you can see the same thing uh, in the loss function for the linear regression below so oh, why do we use elastic net so sometimes uh, it makes sense so if there is uh, if some of the parameters are not important it makes sense to use lasso to get rid of those parameters that are least important in determining the target variable the rich regression on the other hand does not lead to sparsity but it just shrinks the parameters so if we have a situation where there are like high correlations between the parameters then it makes sense to use ridge regression rather than lasso since we do not want to get rid of some of the parameters the elastic net is useful when we do not know which of these two we care about more so do we want more of just shrinkage or do we want sparsity in our uh, parameter space so when we are not sure of this the elastic net ensures that we do a combination of both so we try to come up with a uh, we try to shrink the parameters and at the same time uh, also try to put some sparsity in there and there is a trade-off here we can also see this visually what we see here is the contours of the regularization term as we know the ridge regression induces these circular contours it corresponds to the sum of the squares of the weight term that we add to the loss function and we see the black circle which is a contour of that's coming from the ridge regularization term the lasso which is the sum of the absolute values of the weights leads to the diamond shaped purple contour that you see as we know lasso induces sparsity now what we see for the elastic net is somewhere in between these two it is a little bit looking like the diamond shaped lasso but then each segment itself is curved so it does induce sparsity but not as much as lasso and it does help shrink the weights like ridge and lasso do the elastic net regularization is available in scikit-learn and is easy to implement so as you can see so this is the elastic net regularization we have two parameters we have an alpha which determines the level of regularization itself and we also have an l1 ratio so we have the main loss function plus 
we have alpha into the L1 ratio plus we have 0.5 into alpha into 1 minus L1 ratio into the L2 regularization term. So as we can see here, if L1 ratio is 1, we give weightage only to the lasso regularization. So it's similar to lasso regularization. While if L1 ratio is 0, we would end up doing only rich regularization. And when we have a value between 0 and 1 for the L1 ratio, we would end up with a combination of both lasso and rich regularization. Now, as you can see, we have two parameters to tune instead of one. We have both the alpha parameter and the L1 ratio parameter. So we would end up spending a little more time finding the right values of these hyperparameters. And we can find the values of these hyperparameters alpha and L1 through the regular grid search or uh, any other standard way for hyperparameter tuning. So this is elastic net regularization, which is a combination of lasso and rich regularization. Thank you.